Mullen Marais has to hang it up, man. The guy has to stop. He just lost for the sixth time in a row. All of those losses are by knockout. It started with Corey Sandhagen kicking him in the head with a spinning wheel kick in the second round. Then Rob Font dropped him with an elbow in the first round. Then Marab Davalishvili, of all people, finished him in the second round. Not a long, drawn-out five rounds. In the second round. Then he got KO'd by Song Yudong in the first round. Shimon Marais then finished him, got his revenge against Marlon Marais, who defeated him back in the World Series of Fighting, and now Brennan Lefnane finished him in the second round, this time by leg kicks. Marlon Marais is trying to lose every way possible. He got spinning wheel kicked, he got elbowed, he got KO'd on the feet by punches, he got finished on the ground with punches, and now he got finished with leg kicks too. He has never been the same since the beating from Henry Cejudo, where at one point after destroying top contender Rafael Asuncao, everyone looked at Marlon Marais as the best bantamweight in the world. And he was beating Henry Cejudo for like a round and a half before Cejudo made one of the best adjustments in a fight, took it over and crushed Marlon Marais' will. And he's never recovered ever since. He had a good fight against Jose Aldo, but really only landed that high kick in the first round to really cement anything in that. Jose Aldo probably should have won that fight regardless. And then was just getting knocked out all over the place. It's crazy because Marlon Marais has a win over the current champion right now, Aljamain Sterling, knocked him out in about a minute into the fight and left the champion looking like this. He has an official win over Jose Aldo. He ended Jimmy Rivera's 20 win streak and knocked him out in 30 seconds of the fight. Jimmy Rivera was never the same after that knockout loss. He ran through and avenged his loss against Rafael Sansa, who at the time was one of the best bantamweights in the world. And to see where he's at now is just so sad, man. He's pretty much made of glass at this point. He was Saitama. He was the one punch man. But now he's those monsters that Saitama kills in one punch. And it wasn't like Brennan was doing anything crazy against him he was just throwing out calf kicks he pumped out a lot of jabs early in the fight but didn't even mask his leg kicks behind a jab or a feint or anything he was just throwing them and marlon marais was constantly making the same mistake every single time against the calf kick trying to check it he was trying to turn his leg into the calf kick but as you know from many examples a big one was conor mcgregor versus dustin poirier you can't just try to check those it gets around the shin because it's attacking really low and hits the muscle on the side and you don't need many of these to cause that sort of damage Brennan actually damaged both of Marlon Marais' legs with calf kicks, something we don't really see that much in the sport. Marais could barely even hold his balance after the first round was over because both of his legs were damaged, and he had to come out in the second round, guns blazing, super aggressive to close the distance and not give Brennan any kind of leeway here. And it's actually the most adjustment I've ever seen Marlon Marais ever make in his career. He usually doesn't adjust in fights, and that was probably the biggest adjustment because if he didn't do something different, he knew he was going to lose. But the bigger adjustment he should have made, adjusting on the calf kicks, man. Don't lean into it. Every single time he leaned in, tried to check, and it kept getting around the shin. He should actually take note of what his opponent was doing. Look when Marl Morais, who is a phenomenal kicker, look when he was throwing calf kicks. What was Brennan doing? He was getting away from those sliding away from the calf kick, clearing himself from all danger. Now, he did get connected by a couple of them, but most of them he was able to evade, not defend by checking, but evade it completely. This is actually what Jose Aldo showed the world on how to address the calf kick. And now it seems like more people are catching on, but Morais never caught the drift. and got finished, man. Finished by leg kicks. One of the best kickers in the sport. Getting finished by calf kicks is crazy. And Brennan's a very dangerous fighter, man. He goes for the finish every single time. He has good boxing good knees, good kicks as shown in this fight. And he's not afraid to mix it up in the striking against anybody. But man, there's not a lot of guys I like to see hang it up in this sport that are currently fighting, but Marlon Marais is definitely one of them. He's at the top of the list. If he keeps going and participating in these tournaments, he could come out this sport completely a changed man, and not for the good reasons.